Good afternoon, this sports hub right here on Super Screen Television. How was your weekend? Mine was splendid and a lot of sporting events went down the drain. Uh, over the weekend, it was a beautiful one, especially when you have vibrancy radiating over everybody. Yes, the Cerebral Palsy Football Association was actually launched, relaunched here in Lagos and it was fun, fair and glamour. Um, they're preparing for the next edition of the Cerebral Palsy Nations Cup in Africa, but that as it may it was a big one at the national secretariat of the, the nigerian uh, national supporters of nigerian football uh, association right here in suleri the, the cerebral palsy football is another vibrant association football formerly known as seven aside football are recognized as one of the games that during the olympic initially launched in nigeria in 2016 the cerebral palsy football association also called cpfa has mr jude uic as president and reverend samuel Ikpe as first vice president miss deborah okreamadi as the national secretary and miss victoria Gumola as national treasurer. The cerebral palsy is a health disorder caused by dysfunction in motions or posture, and this is often caused by lack of shortage of oxygen during pregnancy of women. This was narrated by the Secretary General. But the beautiful part of it all was that Reverend Kwaya, who stood in for the unavoidably absent president, Jude Uwasi, revealed plans to make the CPF bigger, better, and more recognized through a series of activities, which include a plan for nation cerebral palsy football tournament, which will see the national cerebral palsy team, fondly called Power Eagles, take on other countries later in November this year. It may also disclose that there's a plan to host the African Nations Cup in 2025. It was a fun sealed event right there in Suleri and a walk was taken from the National Secretariat of the Supporters Club right there at Barracks to Stadium and it was something you want to see. It's a great note to find out that sport has done so much to a lot of people and those affected by the cerebral palsy syndrome are actually giving so much to tell the world that they can also kick the game of football. Like I rightly told you some minutes ago, uh, it was a seven aside game in the Paralympic, but today they're actually kicking forward to see that they can have a shoot. Like what the vice chairman told us in personal reverence, Samuel Lippe, I said they've been struggling to make sure that this group of fantastic, talented individuals see the light of the day to display their talent as footballers. And they're actually putting up all efforts to ensure that the hosting of the African version of the Nations Cup of the Cerebral Fauci uh, uh, football actually takes place in Nigeria. Also, the General Secretary, Mrs. Deborah Okiamadi, made it known that they have been funding this association single-handedly uh, without any support, but as they're preparing for the upcoming Four Nations Tony and the Nations Cup, they're calling on corporate bodies, they're also calling on the Nigerian Football Federation to give their support to these young ones who had the skill to play football. I did listen to some testimony of some of the players who are affect, um, who are actually affected by this syndrome of uh, cerebral palsy. They, 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 they give a strong, vivid thought that what the normal person could do, they could also do better because it's a thing of the mind, it's a mindset. So kudos to the Cerebral Palsy Football Association here in Nigeria that was relaunched on Sunday and kudos to the executive of this wonderful association. But something of great note that caught my fancy was the dedication of the ESCOs of the Cerebral Palsy Football Association uh, here in Nigeria. They're not leaving anything uh, on turn. They want to ensure that everybody that loves football can support these talented ones to see that they have a future of their own so that they can also be breadwinners of their various family uh the event came up yesterday it was fun fair and glamour and uh, you know when it comes to music the nigerian football supporters club they are number one uh entertaining you with all sorts of reading that will keep your body moving and that was very very inclusive but the beauty part of it all was that each participant each player that came in came to give a testimony of what sport has done for them and that is kudos to the association we'll be doing a follow-up to what they'll be doing we we've taken keen interest in the activities like i told them yesterday we'll give them time to come around to tell us what they are into what they want to do so that people out there the government the corporate bodies can actually listen and give them the necessary support that they need i want to assure you that these are people you call joy givers you need to see how excited they were when officially 
uh, the Cerebral Palsy Football Association was relaunched after 2016. Though it has not been the Maribond, they've played some tournaments in Togo, they've had some uh, in Ghana, so they've been here and there. But this time around, the Nations Cup is the big one, and they're looking for support. And I can assure you that Super Screen TV from our own side will follow them suit and give them the very best. Let's quickly take a break and listen to what the Vice President, Reverend Ambassador Samuel Ekpeya, and the Secretary, uh, Ms. Deborah Okiamadi, had to say during the launch of this particular fantastic occasion. I'll be right back. To come and be part of us and, uh, you know, showcase yourself to the, to the world. And that whether you are disabled or whatever, you can still be a champion. Now, uh, the, the funny thing is, corporate bodies are not really into this. How much message you have for the corporate bodies to key into this uh, uh, innovation? Yes. It is a, it's an opportunity also to let the uh, general government, the sport minister, to know that we have set of people here that are, you know, that uh, that have uh, this uh, disability and that are desired to come out, you know, to exhibit uh, or to showcase the I mean, themselves. So by the year 2025, a world body of the CP. They have called on Nigeria to be the first host of the African Nation Cup of uh, CP uh, football. So we will reach out to the sports minister, we will reach out to NFF, even in the way of support, either by JC or by uh, football or any other sport kit. We will also reach out to the, uh, to the corporate body to say that these are people that are out there that are ready to represent this nation through football that they should come out to come and also support us. Last week, sir, what support Can we get you into this? My name is Poké Daddy Deborah, the National Secretary of Cyber Passive Football Association of Nigeria. What are we doing today? Six, every 6th October marks the World Cerebral Passive Day and today we are here to celebrate people, athletes with Cerebral Palsy. Um, so far so good, what has been the journey in the last couple of years that this particular organization has been in place? Um, if I will recall, 2026 was when uh, Cerebral Palsy was um, registered with the CACA in Nigeria. We've been in existence since then. We've been running our activities um, individually, financing ourselves, traveling to outside Nigeria for international friendlies, within for international friendlies, um, having to, uh, tournaments around uh, Nigeria here with our personal money and the rest of it. Uh, so it's been a roller coaster of um, year and dear events, and we've been doing all this. Welcome back from that break. Yes, you had the vice president of the Cerebral Palsy, uh, Palsy Football Association right there speaking and giving need why people should come to support the body and also the general secretary, uh, Ms. Deborah Okiamadi. It was also a day to celebrate, the official day to celebrate the Cerebral, uh, the Cerebral Palsy Day in the world, 6th of October, and it was tagged a walk to success so from our own side we're wishing them the very best and we know that super screen we always want to give the support when it comes to growing any association i can rest assured you can be rest assured that we'll be right there anytime they need us quickly